Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Brog. I'm your host, as you may remember, and this is episode 73. As you may be able to tell, we've upgraded a few things here at the Brog. After much painstaking shopping, uh, which I'm not too fond of. Shopping, I'm not a big fan of shopping in general, right guys? Who likes shopping? But I wound up with this thing. Microsoft Hardware V LifeCam VX800 for $19.99 as you can tell. So the lesson is if you pay a lot of money, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get quality because I had bought a camera from Microsoft for the Brog for digital camp or a webcam about three times, <coughs> pardon me, about three times that much, and it didn't work properly. And this is what I've been using to record pretty much everything for the latest, uh, for the last longest time. This camera has got me through launch time with Adam, episode 1 to 100. This webcam has got me through uh, the Brog up until episode 72. So, a trusted old Logitech camera, and it also, I used, also recorded a few songs on this. Uh, we're listening to Kaler Legacy, a Canadian musician who I have a gigantic love and appreciation for. Big soft spot for Kaler. And he's tracked this entire song himself. You'd have to go to uh, myspace.com backslash K-A-H-L-E-R-L-E-G-A-C-Y backslash Kaler Legacy. You can hear this song yourself. It's called The Last Cigarette. It says it has 130-something plays, and they're probably all me because I really like this song. Anyway, so this is what I wound up with. Uh, and at first I had... Uh, Life Cam 3000, brought it back, sound quality was horrible, it was crappy, then brought it back on a Logitech something. The last video I recorded, it's called I Hate Shopping. I recorded that in the other office with a um, Logitech 210, I believe, uh, because I thought, well, I have a Logitech, so I'll just try a newer version of that, and that didn't really work out. So, the lesson is, paying uh, a lot of money doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get a good product. So, so far, so good. And I downloaded a uh, video editing program uh, to make the, my life a little bit easier. So, we're using VideoPad, actually. And that's sort of what it looks like. Over there. So... Uh, what else can we t show you on this 73 episode upgrades? I can show you, I was talking a while ago about a new fireplace that we were going to install in the office to see how it would uh, match up against the heater that's over there. So we've installed a natural gas fireplace, which I'd be more than happy to show you. Uh, it's right there in the corner. So. Well, I'll kill the lights, and then I will show you the fireplace. Right? Who's got a fireplace in their in their office? Actually. <clears throat> Funny story is, because there is a deal on these, I actually have more than one around here. We got three of them, actually. If you watch that other video uh, from the tire shop office, then you'll see the other one. <coughs> Pardon me. So we got a few of those, and we'll see how it stacks up in the uh, winter. We have natural gas in here anyway because of the other heaters in the shop. So, And uh, not last and not least, I also went and picked up a ESP uh, LTD plug-in acoustic guitar. 
And the benefit about this is, check this out, it has an onboard tuner. And this is, to me, is pretty wicked technology. You press that when you're playing, and it mutes it if it's coming out of uh, a PA or a speaker or whatever. And then you can tune your guitar with a chromatic tuner. <coughs> and if you want to hear how this camera and the guitar sound, I'll play a little song right now. I'm going to play an original. I'm going to, it's going to be the song, But Here We Are. And the song is about, it started off as a blog on the website, adamjars.com. It started out as the idea, we improperly define the universe. You know, we, as I talked about in my last brog, episode 72, I talked about the religion of solitude. We define the universe as something out there. The universe is out there, but if you want to return it the cosmic all, then you can't include a proper definition of the cosmic all or the universe without including yourself. So you are a part of the universe, and people go way far with this and say, like, we're all, you know, people go ridiculously far. We're all one. I mean, that we're, that's true. We are one in that sense. Let's define our terms, though. We're not one in everything. I mean, we're not exactly the same, but on a, lo a lot of levels we are. One, we are all a part of the universe. You're a part of the universe, and so am I. So when you say the universe, it's not out there, far away. It's something that you're a part of. So the song is called But Here We Are, and it's describing this conversation about the universe that we're having. <clears throat> the universe without you. It's about a six-minute song, so if you're not into Adam Josh music, then you can just turn this off here now, and I won't be upset at all. Um, and if you're interested, then that's fine too.
it's called, but here we are. But here we are, you know. In this universe, a part of this universe. We are here. We are the universe. <clears throat> so, there's a few other things I'd like to show you, but all good things come to those who wait, I guess is the short of it. Um, I did want to say briefly that uh, I found a drummer, uh, and if you go to the Mr. Adam Josh YouTube channel, you'll see the drummer that I found, Dave Johnson, and we're practicing, which is good news, and I'm looking forward to playing shows and at the same time I have all the songs written out for the new album I haven't started recording them yet but they are there and Dave is a great drummer and I honestly don't want anybody else to ever drum for me ever I've had my eye on Dave for quite some time now and I don't want anybody else to drum for me so to all you other drummers out there sorry being a drummer myself I have um, I guess I'm sort of picky but Dave is a great drummer and I'm excited to play with him <coughs> pardon me to play shows with him to play music with him and um, we've practiced one song that you can see well we practiced a few that night but we did so long 20s and <clears throat> I was going to say I could play that song for you if you want fans of the brog I suppose the fans and people that view the, the brog aren't necessarily the same people that are into my music and that's fine but I just bought this guitar and this is probably the third song I've played on it, so <laughs> sorry to all those who aren't interested, but I'm going to actually play another song. This is called So Long Twenties, a song about turning 20, turning 30, then saying goodbye to your 20s. <clears throat> and Dave and I practiced on this song, and since then I've got... Uh, since then, I've got a PA system, and and I've got him brushes, and all thanks be to Mr. Rick Legacy for helping me. I mean, I was about to go out and buy a J plug-in. Uh, I have a J acoustic you might have seen, and he said, Adam, why don't you go check out the ESP LTD? I think it's up your alley. And you tell me, do you think this is up my alley or not? Fans, fans and friends and family will know this is right up my alley. And it's an awesome guitar. <coughs> <coughs> if my whole life went bad up to this
for more music, go to adamjosh.com. There's a whole free music tab there where I've put lots of music. Um, most of my friends and family know, obviously my family, but most of my friends and viewers of the blog know. But I play a little guitar and a little drums and I've been writing songs for over a decade. Uh, recorded on my own a few albums and went to a studio and recorded uh, one called uh, Autumn Leaves, You Aren't Falling Apart. And I've played drums in other bands and played a lot of other people's music. But I'm at the point in my life, honestly, that I don't really want to play uh, anybody else's music. I want to play my own music. And that's my decision. You guys out there, other musicians, can do whatever you want to do. But I want to play my own music. And I don't want to play other people's music anymore. I want to play songs that I've written. And uh, if people don't like them, that's fine. And if people like them, that's great too. <clears throat> so, thank you for watching the brog. We're sitting at 2.22 minutes here. This is episode 73, Upgrades! And uh, stay tuned because there's new videos going to be coming soon. Um, my plan was to pick up a Canon, either a Canon PowerShot ELPH 300HS or a Canon SX220. And then it just so happens that one of my friends bought one that he's not satisfied with, and it's one of those big honking SLRs that you use for like professional photography. And uh, he said, well, you can have it if you want. So um, I'm going to, and it's also a Canon if I didn't already mention that. So I'm going to wait until uh, I get that either uh, tomorrow or the next day. And uh, I'll try that out in a few videos, and we'll go from there. So uh, this is my excited face. This is about as excited as my excited face gets. Um, I'm excited. I'm happy. And uh, no matter what happens in my life, you know, I am happy on the inside already. And I'm content and satisfied with nothing and with a lot of things. And most people who know me know that I'm content to uh, sleep in a gutter on the corner. And I'm content to sleep in a king size bed. I'm content to sleep on the third row van seat that I slept on once for a year. <clears throat> I'm content to sleep <coughs> right here, actually. Yeah, I can do that. Actually, tonight I have to go, um, Rick's band is playing and I'm gonna go see them, so I can't really fall asleep. But my point is contentment, uh, with discipline is great gain because uh, if you're content and you're a disciplined person, self-discipline, then you have the world at your fingertips. And uh, I am a satisfied person emotionally, spiritually, already. So all these things that I do don't complete me or make me whole at who I am. But it's nice to be able to brog, and it's nice to be able to play guitar, and I enjoy playing drums, and I enjoy managing the group of uh, businesses that I manage. And uh, I guess I, uh, my, as far as my girlfriend and my love life goes, I'm dating the universe right now. You know, me and her are in a pretty tight, committed relationship, the universe. And, uh, you know, the universe is awesome to me. She's my girlfriend. She's my wife. <laughs> oh, I gotta stop talking. So, thanks everybody for tuning into the brog. If you've actually sat here and watched 25 minutes of the brog, give yourself a round of applause. So, thanks for watching. We'll go out on Killer Legacy once again, The Last Cigarette. Great song. Oh, in the last video that I did, I hate shopping. I mentioned uh, the Sheepdogs concert, and uh, that was a lot of fun. It was at L3. And this is like the ticket that I had to get in. And a lot of fun. They could have probably had a better sound guy. <coughs> And I'm not the biggest fan of the Sheepdogs, in all honesty. But uh, I had a good time, and I went with 
Zach, a good friend. Hi, Zach, if you're watching this, I had a lot of fun. I met some interesting people, and I felt thankful, and I am thankful that I went, and I had a lot of fun. And uh, that's about it. So, happy birthday to Brad. Uh, I wish I could be there in person. And, uh, yeah. Hello, everybody out in Calgary. I wish I could have been there. All right. Bye, everybody. Uh, stay tuned, because there's lots of fun stuff coming my way and coming your way.